Well, here we are again. Um, I've had a, a message from Glenn. Glenn Brown um, wants to know, is there anything that I can do um, regarding the pie oven? This one here. Um, now, when it comes to machines, um, there is only so much you can do with a machine. <laughs> Um, I put all my, not all my machines, but a lot of my machines I've incorporated within the designs on the farm. Like obviously you've got the, the tea shop there. Um, but there's literally too many machines to, to start dotting all over your farm without it looking too too cramped. And I, so that's why I sort of done that design there. made it look like a hill with all the machines up on the hill. Um, but... Like I said in my video, last video, if anybody needs any help with any of the designs or they're struggling with any part of the game, drop me a comment and uh, we'll see what we can do. So with this pie machine, um, he did say, you know, is there any deco that you can put? Or is there anything you can do to make it look nice? Now, the only thing, I mean, it, it does look a little bit of an eye saw that machine. It, it's a bit boisterous. and so. What we need to do with that machine, if you're looking at a one feature, one one thing for that one machine, um, what we need to do, we need to tone it down a little bit. So we need to uh, to make it look cosy, not not stick out like a sore thumb. We need it to look, look nice and cosy within a within a, a little feature. So we'll give it a go. Um, like I said, with all my designs that I do live you know we, we'll just take it step by step and we'll we'll do it bit by bit and we'll see how it how it uh, how it comes along so as you can see in that machine we've got mixtures of brain so we've got to sort of keep the you know pieces of brain in that design to enhance that machine so even though we're going to make sure that that machine is tucked away you know nice and cozy we still want it to be brought forward by enhancing it with more sort of brown things so what we're going to do is let me just have a little look at it and just visualize what it's gonna what it's gonna look like just have a little quick glance right i think what we're going to do is we're going to get some brown boards now hopefully you've got all this that we're going to use glenn um now what we're going to do we're going to get that arc effect like that um shall i add one more to it we'll just have a look and then that will take that to there right now what we need to do is put uh, a tree either side that arcs over the top of the machine so what we're going to do we're going to just try and enclose that machine so it's not stuck out like a sore thumb with a big chimney and everything we're going to just try and tone it down a little bit so what we can use is we could go for an acacia tree Let me just have a look. I don't need to put another. I'm going to put another brown board just there. Boom, 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 boom. Where's the brown board? Oh, there. Okay. So we need to turn that so that it fans exactly the same. So what you're looking at is an identical. <laughs> when you put this tree this side. You want the other side identical, you know, mirrored. Because you can see the branches on there are identical going into the machine. So it meets in the middle. So it just takes the edge off the top of that machine. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to put something at the rear. So I think we could do with a couple of trees. Now, if we got the golden brown, that would be really, really good this color let's put that one there and that one there 
Like I said, we can close it up a little bit if we want to. That's identical size. And that comes in in the middle. We're going to make sure that these trees are identical in the middle. Yeah, that's good. So then what we can do is get a normal green leafy tree. And we can put that to there. I might turn those trees a little bit. Let's just have a look. We might go up one more place in. Let's just have a look. No, that's too much. So there and there. Nope, that's good. So that's the, the rear done there. So what we need to do, just to cover in those little gaps at the back there, we can put a couple of daffodils with a bit of yellow. So we can have one there and one there. Making sure that those daffodils, they kick out or in. So we want that out. That one in, out. So that yellow now is just, just peeking through the trees. Oh, okay. So now what we need to do, we need to, obviously, we need to cover that green to the right of the machine, either side. So if I, at the moment, what could we have there? Let's just put that there and that there. So obviously, nothing is going to plant in there. Okay. Because obviously the machine. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to put that conifer just there. And the other one, the other side, so that that covers that green either side of the machine. So as you can see now, Glenn, we've got that lovely cover behind. The main of the machine at the top is, is covered by um, tree canopy. So it just tones it down just a little bit. And we've got the brown boards at the front that's actually bringing the machine forward even though it's not it, it's making it, it's bringing it towards you but we still need to enhance it more again so what we need to do now is to the right of the conifer we want something with a bit of color um, let's just try this for a minute either side so we'll turn that to there that's quite nice in amongst the green. Right. So now we need another board here. So, so what we're doing, we're bringing, we're bringing it forward. We're bringing the actual machine forward, even though it's staying at the back. Because the brain is actually making the feature come forward. Okay. So... A daffodil kicking left right and that daffodil kicking left so obviously there kicks right left left right that kicks to there so as you can see now it's giving that real nice cozy effect now that you can walk up through the little stepping stones there up onto the boards and get to your machine so again now what we need to do <laughs> is the last enhancement is we need some fence. So what we're going to do, we can use the cow fence, which is this one here. So we can start it there, there, and bring it along there, there, and there. And then we start it again there, there, there 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 and finish there so as you can see now we've got that real nice cozy effect that's quite nice now whatever you want to put on the um i don't know how big you actually want the design that's quite a small design there and you could have a, a row of those you know you could have them dotted around um you can enhance it a little bit more with some more conifers on the outside. 
that you can go. Um, we'll go for some medium conifers. You can have one there, just as a little bit of darkness on that, on the left and right. Again, that's quite nice. That that gives it that that fullness. It just makes it even more secluded. So you've got the lovely golden, the brown trees behind. And that brown fence now is really, really coming, bringing that machine to life, even though it's nice and secluded. Um, and then we can have another daffodil this side and the one that side. And we can have that kicking in towards the conifer, which is quite nice. And then obviously, if you wanted a path to go around the outside, um, you can always go for the white slabs or you can go for the grey slabs. Let's just have a look at the white. Oh dear. Right, what's going on? Where's it jumping? So we put the white slabs up the outside, up along here, along there. Let's have a look. Yeah, you want to go further out than that. Go along here, up there, up there, and up there. Looks as though it's going around the back. It's quite nice. Um, da -da, da -da, da -da. So what we need, we need another brown board there, just to finish that to there, and then we can join the white slabs up to that board. And then all around, up we go, up there, why are them birds out there chirping, in the window open. Like that, there. Um, when we could have, um, let's go to farming, we could have a couple of, not the small barrels, we could have the large barrels, just on the, co on the corner there, and on the corner there, making sure that that's kicking out to there, no, that's a bit. Sometimes when you place them, they stand up right, and then if you put them in a different place, say, no, it's a little bit too. Just thinking about the brown, that was all. You need something more brown on the on the outside. We could have a couple of lamps. Let's just have a look. We could have that one there facing that way, that one facing out that way. It's a bit right facing there. Definitely better going out. Um, you can put, put put whatever you want on that outside. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could put a, a nice tree either side. Um, it's not going to spoil the effect of the actual design itself. Um, and where have we got the, the tiny, the little ones, the little, the little leafy tree? There's one there. Obviously, we'll kick them out, right? So the spurs on the left and the right. That one to there. That one to there. You know, you don't have to have that brown slab there. You can have another white one as it goes in. Personal preference. You know, you can have it how you want. But, you know, there's a, there's a little design there for one machine. And like I said, at the very beginning, it you know, it sticks out like a sore thumb. But what we've done is we've toned it down a little, little bit with a little bit of cover. And we put some trees and some flowers around it. And that brown fence and the brown board that enhances it. And then we've topped it off with a lovely white slab area around the outside. Um, certainly, if you want it a bit smaller than that, you just take away the slabs and just have that, have that small feature with the fence around it. Um, but that's about all you can do to it, Glenn, to be absolutely honest. There are other designs, flower arranging designs that you can do, but that's just one that I've just thought off of the top of my head. 
and uh, I think that looks quite nice. Obviously, forget the trees that are around the outside. Um, you've got those brown, you could use gold at the back. Um, not red. <laughs> um, and not green, because obviously the green then would clash with the acacia trees. You've still got a few gaps in between the trees there at the back. You could even just add another couple of daffodils in there, just so that they peek through the through the trees. So it just gives it that little bit of little bit of yellow poking through the the backs of the trees there. So that's it. So that's another design by Scatterbrook Farm Garden Designs, Glenn. I hope that's helped you, mate. Um, it's a, probably about the best that you can do with a a single machine, unless you adapt you know it, it, it actually into your farm into a woodland area or, or into a you know like i did with the tea shop i mean like i said i've got the the area down there i've used the uh the sandwich bar and i put that down by the train station that obviously if you, if you get off the train and you're a bit hungry you can get yourself a sandwich and sit down just using imagination as to where things can go but uh yeah i just got sick to death of the machine so i just did a, a bulk area like that but certainly when you go back to that now i look at that that does actually look quite pretty and that machine now like i said instead of sticking out like a sore thumb it actually looks really really pretty in amongst there so i hope that helps you glenn um, if you want any more help or any of my viewers want any help with any designs, you're stuck with anything or you're, you know, you, you're you finding it hard to do something, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to pass on all the videos with all your friends. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. And uh, Glenn, especially, just let me know, mate, if you think that design's okay. And uh, if not, we can always give it another go with a with a different sort of colour scheme, but uh, I think that would look nice on any farm. So that's it. So from me, Scatterbrook Farm, enjoy the rest of your day. Happy designing, and uh, look forward to seeing all your farms with all your letters that we're going to be getting from this global event. I've got a, I've got a design in mind for the, uh, for the heyday letters. So that will be on one of my videos. So uh, yeah, that's about it. So from me, Scalabot Farm, Garden Designs and Molly Mop, we will see you very, very soon in the next video. Take care. Cheerio.